Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished uh, this mission, which I had tried earlier and didn't understand. Then I tried a final mission without realizing what I was trying to do, uh, and gave up on it after a little while, because it's way too complicated. So I have several choices. I have coils, which I haven't looked at. Uh, tangled pipes seems to be just for a starfish. I came to the same conclusion for what the heck is this, that seems to be just for starfish. I've never looked at the den, but for whatever reason, I'm in the mood to try heavy lifters again. I want to get that one done, because I want to see what this unlocks, mostly. Uh, I probably need to go through coils and Guppy get to the next right. puzzle for that. It is Agent T. It is Agent I T. I thought she was retired. Okay, so, Poor um, dead. last time I looked at this puzzle... Or mummified. <laughs> I think I was trying to go for the starfish route because I was really trying hard to get Agent T through here. As soon as she's through here, getting the starfish becomes trivial. So what I'd like to do here is figure out what route Hello, I can take. Flounder. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Agent T. <laughs> I've heard all this already. Figure out what route I could take that avoids the starfish. Because whatever action I was taking there would get me to it and is then by necessity the harder way to do it. So what's a, an alternative? Flounder's exits are here if I can block this laser somehow or put this object in here somehow or here if let's see. It's Agent It's Agent T. Uh, what is she? 7, 8, 9 6? She's 6. Okay. Now, doing that means that exit doesn't work for Flounder. Can she do something about that? I don't think she can. Other than, no, it can't even just hold that up. Okay, so that becomes a non-Flounder compatible exit if I do that. Can he do anything to help himself without involving her? Like, I don't, this is not laser protection. Better than uh, is there anything that could be laser protection here? I mean, not not like that. Mm hmm. Hmm. I tripped. How do I do this? All right. So puzzle starts like this. Like, if I could get a, a pipe hat on him that's adequate for protecting from this laser, then that'd be cool. Or if I could... Hey, what about... Can I stack that stuff on the turtle's back? Somehow, and have it be high enough for him to, like, push his way out of here? Uh, so you're gonna have to do what? Something like... This... Ah, that does stack high enough. Okay, that might be the start of something, somehow. It's not, though. Uh, could it be somehow? The situation is quite mysterious, Flounder. Oh? As I was telling Mr. Crab, hmm. I believe the aliens have been collecting DNA. That makes sense. That's what aliens do. Yes, I trained you better... DNA, FIN Laboratory, okay, so this, I don't think I can do any kind of shuffle that lets him be on the right side of the laser. Also, if this pipe is going down that shaft, or if any of these objects are going down that shaft, uh, I can't, uh, he can't fit, because I need all the space except for one column to get him through there. All right. Somebody said something like, this is apparently supposed to be trivial if you don't get the starfish. I sure don't see how that's the case yet. Can I make a stack in, I like, trade. this orientation? If I... do... this? That's almost something. It's not actually something, though. If I could latch this pipe onto here, then that would effectively block the laser and let him get through. And then he could push this over, and I would even still have the access to the starfish, so this is still probably the starfish route. Uh, okay, okay, so I'm starting to see... possibilities of doing a shuffle here that lets... 
that lets everything get over to where it needs to go. Um, this is the same thing I already did. So that gets me nowhere. Guppy and I have uncovered evidence that the aliens are actually working for somebody within the FIN. You have? Yes, that's obvious. Otherwise, they wouldn't be taking DNA to an FIN laboratory. In my search of the archives, I was unable to discover any authorization for such a project. Therefore, I must conclude that these experiments represent a threat. Do you know the location of the laboratory? I do. Then we must go there at once. Let's go get Guppy. I don't remember if I've heard that before. So I'm trying to look at these other objects and see if there's anything at all I can do with them. It doesn't seem like there is. Uh, this one can only move left and right. There's no way to lift it. This one, I don't. S there's no room on the left to push it to the right, so that's gonna stay there. I could I could shove it into this hole, I guess, for whatever good that'll do me. Uh, can't move this. Can't move this. I can't have her lift this up far enough to block that, which would be nice if I could. Uh, could I have her take some of these objects over here and then lift them up? Hmm. In your own time, I'm in no rush. <laughs> okay, then. Alright, so what's this look like? If I were to do... If I were to take this object. Not enough space. Uh, even if it were all the way on top of her, still not enough space. If I... No, no, that doesn't help. Alright, yeah, so let's enumerate the possibilities here. Move this to the left. Agent T blocks laser. Flounder gets through. That's possibility number one. That would let me get the starfish easily. Uh, use this, some of these objects to block the laser, and Flounder swims down here. The only way I see that working, since I saw how wide this is, is if I hook this specific object on here. Or, like, get this one all the way over there, but that's just pretty unlikely. Um, block the laser from here. Which would mean a bunch of stuff on Agent T's back. That seems... I, I tried that and it didn't look particularly possible, because I would need... She can only get up to here. No, can she even? No, not with that pipe there. Okay, so how does she start Agent exactly? T. It's Agent T. Uh, I don't start in such a way that that lets her do much of anything. Like I can, I can push this over, and then that means this this little thing is blocking her from going higher. That's not great. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, I see the function of this object. If I stacked something up here, she could get it up a little bit higher and lift it up there. So I would need something four tall stacked on top of that. This one uh, probably doesn't serve a similar purpose. I think that's just to keep from going through there. Okay, so next thing. Can I have her stack something on top of this that's tall enough to get there? Uh, no. Probably not. I'm not sure, though. Okay. I, I can do that, but she trained me better than that. Uh, like, this is the one that's easiest to move to the left. And I mean, like, if I just do that with nothing else, I'm still one tile off. But that's getting closer. It's moving in the right direction. Because I can get that one tile off. Okay. But so what? Like, the idea of stacking something else up on top of there... Seems definitely impossible. Like, there's no way I can get something else up there. For one thing, she doesn't have the leverage to push anything up and left here. For another thing, none of these objects are shaped in such a way that lets me push them left onto there. It's nice to have someone so that's to help not it. move the steel pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Would be nice if we could actually do anything with that ability. 
Ugh, maybe I chose the wrong puzzle here. I mean, I, I have to do this someday. Why not today? Let's get it done today. Okay, well, I feel like I've enumerated my possibilities pretty well. It's just going to be a bunch of fiddling around until I stumble into something. So I'll see you when I do that. Well, actually, I do see something here that I can at least try. Oh, it's not very good because she can't fit in there. I was thinking I could push that over, then stack some stuff. Hmm. Stack some stuff on top of it. Push both at once all the way over, like, here. Even if I did that and elevated it up to there, I still would have no way to push it left and hook it on there. Like, I wanted to, like get this object hooked on top of there, and also that would block it from going up, because it would catch on this. Well, that's a bad plan. Okay, I think I'm seeing a configuration that could work here. Imagine, this object has this... Oops, whoa, if I click there, she moves. This uh, bottom part of the pipe sitting on top of it. On In this little spot is this object going up like this. That gives me the one extra height that I need to block this laser. And that sits in a, a place where it can be pushed to the left. So my task then would become, how do I stack those objects up in that way? So this would need to go first, that would need to go on top of it. So this, oh, interesting. Yeah, so I can push this to the right and get underneath stuff. And again, it serves the same function as, as this. All right, I feel like I'm getting close-ish. Uh, I can't put that that far, the farthest right that this one can possibly fall is here. Like this. Oh, uh, but then I can move it. Oh, hey, this just became easy. Look at that. I found the easy way, I think. If that fits, it doesn't. Okay, so that everything needs to move left one more. That's fine, I can do that. That's what the book is for. Uh, although I moved that too far already. Okay, so you sit there. Move book. Move upper pipe. Uh, well, sure, why not? Do this. I think I'm onto something, finally. Okay. And that little construct I've built can finally protect from lasers. Yeah, there we go. Flounder, move stuff. Okay, so now... Ah! Ah, so I get how it. did you arrest the Loch Ness Monster? Oh, she's not really the monster that everyone makes her out to be. I just explained to her that we can't have sea monsters in inland lakes, and she was quite reasonable about it. Uh, let me go back just a moment. I'm going to save this. I think there's probably... Yeah, so now I understand. <laughs> I was thinking about the starfish wrong. I can get to it, but then can I get to an exit after that? Um, I need to carry some pipes around somewhere. Like, where's Flounder going to exit at this point? So let's just probe at some things. I've put those in an irretrievable location. Um, there's not... There are some objects I can still take with me if I want to. But let me just see, without worrying about the objects, where the characters can go. So you can protect him from that. He can get through. And I could just block this off, couldn't I? Well, that's from the wrong side. Oh, yeah, so there's another way to get that st Well... Hmm. Uh, Agent T, what can you do up there? How high can you swim? That high. So how are you going to push this off? This still has to push off for anybody to get out of here, doesn't it? Ah, right, and again, that's the starfish route. Excellent! Yeah, but... <laughs> still got to get out of here somehow. Like, is there a way to, to fix this problem? I, I don't think there is. I mean, that's just going to fall, fall down. Wait. Uh, no, I can't just push it out of there. Because there's nothing to set it on. Hmm. All right, so how could I even hypothetically move this thing? I need to build a fairly tall structure. Uh, 
So I need to figure out, like, a shape I could build with these pipes. Okay, so the, the best... About the only rightward protrusion I have is this. This elbow right here. So that would need... This would need to get a rightward push from somebody while supporting it. Okay, so... Uh, 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 uh. So that uh, this, this thing would be right in this spot. Perhaps I could... Everybody okay, so how high... How high do you go? One too low for that. So if Flounder were in this spot... Let's actually do that. So you'd be sitting here. Agent T needs some lever she can push to the right. Okay, so that would need to be here. And I would need... Just like three three things stacked on his back that can act as a lever to push that to the right. Then I'd be able to get out. Okay, so... Uh, this is too tall. Is that too tall? That's only four tall. No, that's not. That can fit here. Okay, so like I could fit that there. Uh, but the... Okay, books. Books could maybe work. I have to contend with lasers, too. All right, so let's go back to my checkpoint and see which objects I can retrieve. So this one should be retrievable, I think. These look like they're stuck where they are. I don't think there's any possibility of getting any of these out again. Because nobody can... Well, yeah, no. There's not enough space for any either of these characters to get far enough left to push those to the right. So those are stuck where they are. Okay. So just forget about these. So my focus needs to be on this book. Oh, wait. Well, if I can't get this out, then that nullifies my plan for getting this anywhere. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, and yeah, there's the really... and I are really glad to have you working on this case with us, Agent T. There's really no way I can get this back out again. Like that's uh that might not be completely true. So I'm looking at the potential. I see us if I could if I could ditch this. I see a potential spot where flounder could fit in right here. Push this to the right and then get some leverage on it. Okay, so if I could if I could eliminate this or like stack it on on top of that, would that be possible somehow? Maybe. Uh, I loaded my checkpoint, but I can still undo a little farther still. Let's make another checkpoint here. Yeah, okay. So I see some potential here. Because, um... Things I can do. I can have Agent T do this. Now that, that negates the leverage I have here of, of having this thing push that one to the left. So that's... I don't want to do that yet. But maybe at some point... Unless I can move them individually in some way, or like prop this on something else like that? I mean, I don't think so. Uh, and you can't lift anything far enough for Flounder to push it left, right? Right. Hmm, is that true? I don't think that's true. Well, thank you for the information, Agent T. Guppy and I will go to the secret laboratory immediately. Because, um... Well, the problem is this will kill him. I trained you. Yeah, dr well, now, what if... I mean, what if she's already up there? Okay, okay. Well, I've done this before. But, oh, well, hang on. What if I make that stack? 
Oh. I see the problem. I can't leave that where I want to leave it, can I? Yeah, because that doesn't get on there anymore. Okay, so that's... This, ooh, this is complicated. But actually, no, I think this still works. Because I can do this. And push that on there. Put all that where it needs to go. And then use... Uh, no, no, this doesn't... If the book were one more to the left, then maybe I could sh shuffle things around in such a way that lets me... Well, okay, so what if I leave that where it is? Ugh, it's in the way. I can't get the book any farther out. Pushing this removes his access to this area down here. Ah, man. Well, this may be a dead end. I'll, sh I'll shuffle around with it a little more and see if it goes anywhere, but I don't, I don't think it is. All right, so let's see if this turns into anything interesting. If I, okay, so before I push that, if I put a support for it, put that down there. Put this here. I want to move this whole thing to the right just a little bit. Like this. Uh, actually, that's that's all I need. So that can elevate the book now. So let's you push, push. Then nothing, though. I'm out of options, right? Did I have to do what I did there? I think so. Out of options. This can't move back to the left at all. I have nothing to set this on. I can do this, but then that uh, doesn't give me enough ele elevation. Mm, and in order to get... Like, I'm, I'm just trying to set something up where I can, I can push... I can continue pushing this whole structure to the left. To get that book on there, this would have to move two more to the left. Can I hook this on here somehow? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, no, even if I put it up here on this, I... Let's see. So how does that work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, not enough space in there. Only three light. All right, this is going nowhere. So back to this other strategy. I think I at least see a way to retrieve... Oop, gotta leave that there. I think I at least see a way to retrieve this pipe. It should look something like that. Uh, I'll drop I it on his head, though. That's no good. So maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I can't drop it on him. Uh, see, the problem I'm having here is I don't know how to retrieve any of these objects, really. <laughs> That's just making the problem worse. This big chunk of steel here that just isn't going to go anywhere ever. Uh... Yeah, everything's just all tangled up in a mess here. I just don't have the objects to to do what I need to do here. Uh, yeah, nothing's nothing's shaped right. So what's the idea? I don't really get it. I can transfer a book to her head. So what? Let's just play with this and see where it gets me. Like if I could if I could elevate that a lot more. Hmm. New idea. This pipe. One, two, three, two. Okay, so four tall. Book on top of that pipe right here. Agent T can get high enough to push the book. Okay, so that's a new way to build a lever for this. That hinges on me actually getting this pipe out, though, and being able to navigate it through all this, which is probably possible. Can this? No, that can't play a role. Alright, so how do I get that pipe out? Maybe I ditch 
these objects first. Because I can put them a little farther away, get them more out of the way. I think that's about as out of the way as they're going to get. Probably. So you push that, and you can get on the other side of it. There we go, that's how I retrieved that. I did it. Okay. Okay, so I think I have a pretty promising looking strategy now, don't I? Uh, that's too tall for you to get all that through there. You can't transfer it to his... Well, you can transfer it to his back. Like this. So you must have seen lots of puzzles like this one, huh? Well, this reminds me a bit of something I saw in Havana Harbor once. But my partner on that case was a squid, and there was a battleship involved. It's probably a joke in there that I don't get. Not sure what they're referring to. Okay. Now comes the fun. Well, okay, so you have... Uh, you don't have this... Well, the book... I can put the book back on later. So... All I want to do is stick that up here. Laser's in the way. Um, but if... If you lift past the laser... Alright, I'm getting somewhere, and you can go high enough to push that. Good. Okay, that's in place. Now I just need to move the book. And that's a problem. Okay, because uh, the problem was that nobody can get through here now, because Agent T can't tuck far enough in here to get all the way out of that, and Flounder can't fit through there to get on the other side of it. So I'd have to push it o over, and that gets rid of it. Okay, so book needs to move differently. I mean, surely that's doable. Should have had plenty of opportunities to do that. Probably the best opportunity is going to be... Flounder right now. Alright, so this is the crucial move. Now that's going to have to be lifted up, which is probably fine. Probably. I hope. I think I'm doing the starfish solution now, because I couldn't see any other way to do it. Which is fine. Okay, so I want you on the other side. Push this. The book will eventually get up on top of there, but that's much easier with it in that position. So you get up above the laser. She has room to push that. That's in place. Good. Good. This looks good. This looks like exactly what I need. Uh, how do I lift the book up that high? I needed to already have it on top of this, didn't I? So I, I did... Alright, so I want that actually here, I think. Ooh. Uh, okay, so still complicated. Pretty sure I can lift that up and push it to the right. That shouldn't be a problem. I think I'll arrest the guy who designed this mm -hmm. room on charges of impeding official government investigation. So this isn't right. Eh, still is not right. I don't think I can make that work, can I? Can she go high enough for that? Well, there's flounder still in the way. That laser. If I could just disable this laser somehow. I wish I could have stuck something something in there. Okay, so I can do that, which doesn't help. How do I push that book up there? That book's got to be up there. Um, so that means that means I need to move the book differently. Is there an opportunity here? I can't let this fall down too far. That has only so many places it can sit. Hmm. I need I need that. I need that where the book is. 
This might be something. Could this become something? Uh, with you on the other side? Okay, okay. That looks better. That's probably what I want. Yeah. Now I can just push this whole structure all the way over. Here we go. This looks very good. You go all the way up there. You go all the way up here. Yes, I got it. Uh, I think... Book's not quite in the perfect spot, though. Uh, can I fix it? So now that it's the... Oh, uh-oh. Why don't you... Hang out in a different spot when you drop that. Uh, I don't like that either, though. Well, I mean, okay, nice so... to have someone to help moves. me move the steel pipes. This goes up. That far. Yes, here we go. I did it, I think. Pretty sure if you hide in... Uh, you might have to hide all the way over here. Agent T is pretty big. She needs a lot of room to move stuff. Yeah! Yeah! I think I did it. Excellent! This looks like what I need. Now you get out. Turtle Face can take care of herself. Yeah! I did it! I even got the starfish. Because I couldn't figure out how not to. <laughs> So if anybody knows the non-starfish solution, well, I'd be interested to hear it. Guppy and I will go to the secret laboratory immediately. I mean, I'm happy enough yeah, to I have... Got myself out of that <laughs> I'm happy enough to have solved that with the starfish without, you know, incredible amounts of trouble. But yeah, I, I could not see any other way to do it. That was that was the only, only way I could figure out. Yeah, somebody... I, I remember somebody leaving a comment saying there's a trivial solution without using the starfish. But it was it was invisible to me for whatever reason. So yeah, got one of these locks. I don't know where the other bubble stream is. It's, it almost has to be here. Um, all right, well, good. That was a puzzle I was worried about. I'm glad I finally got it out of the way. Uh, what did I get? It's been so long since I got a starfish. I kind of forgot. Careful demolition. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't want to mess with that right now. <laughs> New picture. Sure. Let's do this. This is a Shelby. Mm -hmm. I recognize those eyes. Uh, now wait, those are there's, there's two eyes. Okay, okay. That's not, the eye stalks are what, farther down? That's an eyebrow, I think. Wait, no, what is that? I don't know snail anatomy well enough to tell. Ugh, this is kind of a mess. Let's do the text like I usually do. Even these puzzles are getting a little harder. Like, even a hard puzzle. Like, I can shuffle it around enough to, to get stuff done eventually, but... It's not entirely trivial. Uh, okay, so I see where that goes. That's the other part of that. Uh, isn't, that isn't this an eye? No, it's not. This is something else. Okay. Happy accident there. That's not right. I'm, I'm pretty sure this this goes here, but it doesn't doesn't connect to the corner. Um, okay, I see, like this. I was doing the text, but then I I found more pieces of that puzzle. <laughs> uh, there we go. There we go. All right, that's most of a Shelby. Where's the rest of your eye? For some reason, I don't see it. Oh, uh, okay, so I found the top part, but we're... Oh, there it is. All right, so this looks like it's going to be... Could be upper right. Uh, it's definitely up one. Yeah, I think that's upper right. Okay, cool. Those don't go together? They look like they go together. What is all this? Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I'm what I'm what I'm looking at here. Like, what is this nonsense? <laughs> it's another piece similar to that one. This one. 
So like this big chunk would have to go, all right, I see that those join horizontally, but there's not a lot of like horizontal space I can put stuff at this, oh wait, no, they don't. Okay, yeah, so this connected, so this is this is the full width, okay. So then since this didn't connect there, it must go here. Mm -hmm. This goes here. This goes here. You would be this. Bottom of that rock. I guess that's a rock. Must be a rock. Not the country. Uh... That's not... What... What is... What is... What is this? Oh, I see. That's background. It's covered by, like... Something. <laughs> Parsing these pictures is hard. Where do you go? It's gotta be one of those. The rest of this all looks the same, so there we go. Okay. I made a Shelby. Okay, cool. Uh, so that puzzle's done. Um, yeah, I'm getting this game done reasonably well. I've been curious about something for a while. I wonder if, if I were to come back and solve three pack, if I would get my Joker back, or um, what do they call these wild card? If I get my wild card back, uh, it's like a jester's hat, <laughs> um, or if that's just permanently there. I don't really want to use wild cards because I want to solve all the missions like, the proper way, um, but this, this was blocking progress pretty severely, uh, and I mean, even if I don't get it back, I can still come back and solve this, um, yep, still, still can load it I and everything. I don't know who left the beer. Uh, yeah, anyway, doesn't really matter. Uh, next time, I've been talking about the den for a while, but I haven't gone there, so maybe there, maybe here, probably one of these two. See you then!